I joined Akash in 9th standard. Mm -hmm. So I joined early, I gave Anthe in 8th standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. Welcome to 678 channel of Baijo's and I'm your teacher Ankita and in today's class we'll be learning something really very interesting. As we can read from the title, we'll be discussing something about the Sanskrit. Now, I'm sure you've heard about this term, right? It's a very common term nowadays and we get uh, to know more and more about it each and every day. It's there everywhere, right? Be it our homes, be it on the television, be it on the internet, it's everywhere. And there are times we wonder that why is really important and actually what is a function of the sunscreen? Now, if I go right now out of the sun, I will be applying the sunscreen. So let's understand that why sunscreens are really very important and what is their function. Starting with the important thing that what happens when we go out in sun. So we know that sun is really, really very wonderful. It provides us energy, not to us directly, but then it provides the energy to the plants, right? Plants make their food by the simple process of photosynthesis and sun becomes their source of energy. So if plants can take it, we assume that yes, we humans can also take the sun radiation. But here's a very, very important point. Now, in the sun radiation, right, we have UV rays and these are definitely not good for our skin. So as of course we get the light on our planet, right, along with that, we have the harmful UV radiation. And these harmful UV radiation can actually penetrate deep down into our skin and can cause the damage. Hence, we know that sun energy, right, the, the sunlight that we get is good for us, but not in a great quantity. Now, if this particular, right, sun UV radiation goes into our skin, what can it does to our skin or to our body is that, of course, we can have the sun burn. It can cause wrinkles, of course, if there's a prolonged exposure to the sun rays directly, then it can cause dry skin, very, very scary thing skin cancer and skin aging. So over here we have some of the conditions that can happen or some of the you know causes or maybe the effects if we go out in the sun without using the sunscreen. Now all of this is there right and why this is there because of course in our sun there's a lot of radiation in that UV radiation are really very harmful for our skin that can cause the aging and of course various other things. Of course, to protect our skin against that, we have, ta-da, drum rolls, we have the sunscreen. Now, sunscreens are, are kind of a shield towards the sun, harmful UV radiation. Now, of course, we have the sunscreen in a lotion form or in a cream form. We apply it on our skin and, of course, it actually protects us from the harmful UV radiation. Now, I'm sure you must have seen, right, people applying a layers and layers of sunscreen on their faces and, of course, going out in sun. Let's understand that how these sunscreens are actually helping from us, right, are actually from helping us from the harmful radi radiation. So when we talk about the, right, uh, the sunscreen, they actually reflect back the harmful UV radiation or absorb it. Now, we'll be discussing about this a little bit more further into details. When we talk about the sunscreen, there are two types of sunscreen. We have physical sunscreen, like we can categorize them into physical and the chemical one. Now, of course, as the word physical is there, we will be taking up that lotion or the cream and applying a good layer onto our skin. And that actually gives the whitish color to uh, basically to our skin like after when we apply it for some time. Slowly, slowly it will be going, it will be getting absorbed. In the physical sunscreen, right, of course, we have different types of minerals and the chemicals, especially the minerals that actually act as a shield and they reflect back the harmful UV radiation. Then, of course, we have the chemicals that will be absorbing the harmful radiation and not be causing the harm to our skin. In some cases, it might irritate the skin, but mostly it will be protecting us. 
when we go out, we usually nowadays use more of the physical sunscreen. We just take a layer, right? We just squeeze a little bit of the sunscreen from the bottle onto our hands and then we apply a thick layer. Now, before we go out, we should be applying the sunscreen before approximately 10 to 20 minutes before we are stepping out. And if we are there in the sun, we should be reapplying it again and again. So now we are clear that how these amazing sunscreens are protecting us. Let's take a further look and let's understand that how basically these things happen. So when we talk about this, right, so over here we have our skin and if we apply the sunscreen, what will happen? We can see that it will be reflecting the radiation. Simple as that. Now that we are clear, let's understand more about the SPF. Okay. Now what is SPF? It's a sun protection factor. Now in the sunscreen, we usually go for the higher SPF value. For example, over here, we have the 50 SPF. That means that it will be providing the more protection towards the skin from the harmful UV radiation. So SPF is a sun protection factor. Of course, we have uh, the amount of UV radiation that will be causing the uh, you know, sunburn or the, uh, the harmful effects to our skin can be reduced by if we are using the higher SPF. This is really very important. So we have the understanding about that why the sunscreens are really important. What is SPF? And we should be using the higher SPF value sunscreen. Now I have a question for you over here. With sunscreen over here among these two, will require more amount of radiation to cause harm. We have two. We have SPF 30 and then we have SPF 50. Which one you will go and buy? Or which one you will pick, right? Of course, we will be going with the SPF 50 because we know that higher the SPF value, the more protection we have from the sunburn and of course more protection from the harmful UV radiation. So I hope that now you're clear that why the sunscreens are really very important and next time when you're stepping out of your house, please make sure that you're applying the sunscreen and I'm sure your parents will always do that. With that, we will end our session. But before we end our session, let me quickly talk uh, about the ANTHE examination. It's the Akash National Talent Hunt examination for the grades 7 to the class 12. And this particular examination helps the students to understand and analyze their studies. And of course, if you register for this particular examination, you stand a chance to go to NASA. And apart from that, you can actually avail 100% scholarship. It's really very interesting. So don't wait. Register now for the ANTHE examination. The link of the registration is in the de description below. Go over there, click it, and the process is really very easy. Apart from that, if you haven't joined the Telegram group of ours, Take a movement and click on the link which is in the description below and join the group. With that, as we always say that we have got you covered and if you like this session, don't forget to hit the like button for the video, share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel of ours. We'll be meeting really very soon. On that note, take care and keep on learning with Baijus. Bye-bye.